We start with major news involving what is currently West Michigan's second largest public company. Kellogg is breaking up, splitting into three new companies. And the most profitable portion of the company is now moving its headquarters to Chicago. News 8's David Horak joining us live now from outside Kellogg headquarters in Battle Creek to break down this major announcement. David. Good evening, Sue and Brian. This ends a storied 116 year chapter and starts a whole new one. And the company promising at the same time that no employees here in Battle Creek will be forced to move. Right now is, I think, the opportune time to do this. A big announcement from the Battle Creek based company today saying they are divvying up into three with each directly overseeing a different product category currently under the Kellogg name. Its management team is wholly focused on the industry and its place in the industry. I think you'll see greater innovation, you'll see more brand building, you'll see bright days ahead of it. CEO Steve Cahillane says he will take on the same role at the newly formed Global Snacking Company, whose headquarters will move from Battle Creek to Chicago, but still have campuses in both cities. <laughs> More than $11 billion of Kellogg's $14.2 billion net sales last year came from their snacks, like Pop-Tarts, Pringles, Cheez-It, and Eggo. They're principally domestic brands, but as we've you know tinkered with putting them in international markets, they've done extremely well. So the international expansion opportunities are, are absolutely great. The ability to focus on just those brands and just in the snack, mostly the snacking space, uh, is a tremendous opportunity. The other two companies temporarily named North American Cereal and Plant will focus on cereal and plant-based foods, respectively. Both will keep their headquarters in Battle Creek. And for now, the three companies do not bear the Kellogg's name, but Kay Helene says it might not stay that way. I wouldn't uh, at all dismiss the possibility of one of the businesses carrying on the Kellogg tradition in terms of the corporate name. That's work to be done. The company says the process of splitting into three is expected to go well into next year with the goal of it being finalized by the end of 2023. The city of Battle Creek not taking any interviews or statements at this time, but they said that they will have a press conference tomorrow afternoon following conversations they will have with the company. But for now, that is what we stand here in terms of this latest development. Back to you. Okay, we'll wait for that tomorrow. David, thank you. This move will break up what is currently our state's fifth largest company. According to Bridge Magazine, Kellogg trails only Stryker, GM, Ford, and Dow with a market cap of $22.8 billion. Investors on Wall Street like the move. Kellogg's stock rose as much as $3 today. It closed just under $69, up $1.32 on the day. Kellogg's and Battle Creek have gone hand in hand for more than a century. Michelle DeSalm's here now with a look at the cereal giant's storied history, Michelle. Yeah, millions of people around the globe start their day with a bowl of cereal, and it is a phenomenon that all started in Battle Creek. In 1894, while in search of a healthy vegetarian meal to serve at his family's Battle Creek Sanitarium, W.K. Kellogg invented cornflakes. A decade later, W.K. left the sanitarium to start the Battle Creek Toasted Cornflake Company. That that would later become the Kellogg Company. They would invent new cereals like Bran Flakes, Rice Krispies, and Corn Pops. And then in 1964, a game changer, Pop-Tarts, were born. That's a move that set Kellogg on a path to be much more than just a cereal company. In the early 90s, Kellogg's unveiled Nutrigrain bars and then a series of acquisitions, first buying Morningstar Farms and then Keebler Company and Pringles. As cereal sales have slowed through the decades, snacks now account for about 80% of Kellogg's sales. Sue? All right, Michelle, thank you. We expect to get reaction from Battle Creek City leaders after they meet with the company tomorrow. Make sure and stay with News 8 for continuing coverage on this story.